Hey, what's up YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with another knife review. This is an Anza knife, and it's a very small knife. Uh, the total length of this knife, five and a quarter inches. The blade length, 2.7 inches. And the actual edge length is two and one quarter inches. Now I paid uh, $48.45 for this knife, and I think it was worth it. The item number on this is AZLBKM. There you see it next to a larger brother that I have previously reviewed. And I have a confession to make. I actually saved this knife to be uh, for last out of my five Anza knives to review because I actually think this knife will be the most popular. Mainly because there's nobody that can't use a small fixed blade. You know, not everybody needs a sword, machete, tomahawk, but everybody can use a small fixed blade. Right there you see the... Uh, my Carta handle scales and the true full tang on this knife. It is a small knife, you know, it gives you a three finger grip. It's the compromise that most neck knives make. Now, Anza knives are made from files, and the files are softened, right? And the files are made from 1095. Now, the reason they're softened is because a normal file is extremely hard, and that's not good for a knife because you don't want it to chip, right? So they are. Uh, basically retreated to make them ideal for being a knife. And those files are 1095, a good high carbon steel. Now this has the typical Anza grind, which is a hollow grind into a relief grind that's uh, fairly broad and fairly wide. It's a very good slicer. Now the sheaths on an Anza knife, they're all just a uh, basic classic stitched leather sheath. Attractive, it holds it in. You see how small this knife is, you see the belt loop there. And it's fitted to the knife so it holds it in quite well. Such a handy little knife. Yeah, so the sheath is not tactical kydex or, you know, a commando sheath or anything. But it does the job and that's what you get. Alright, at this time I'm going to roll in some usage footage. You know, it's a small knife so this is just to get us in the mood. It's not like torture testing a tiny blade or anything. Uh, the gloves I am wearing are uh, basically made of a Kevlar-like material. They are butcher's gloves. I could grab the edge with those if I wanted to. And the music is called Early Bird. Enjoy. And we are back. So you can do normal camp tasks with this. You can make shavings, push cut, you can slice up your lunch if you need to. Uh, it's a wicked slicer. Anzas are often used uh, as skinning knives as well. So this is just a handy all-around neck knife. Now Anzas have been around since 1980. And of course they have an unconventional look to them. And I mean that's what I like. You know, they have character. They look tough. They look rugged. And it's funny how all of a sudden people turn into some hoity-toity collector, you know, when they see something like this, when on all my other videos, if I show anything collectible, you know, those same people will complain that it's not practical. Kind of makes me think some people just, they just want to make some noise because they, I don't know, didn't get enough attention as a child. But uh, trust me, you know, these have been around a long time, and I hate to use nothing fancy as a reference, but... I guess I will. Check out his Anza Knives video, you know, if you don't believe me. Uh, one thing about Nutton, he does do his homework, okay? Uh, he is kind of a hall monitor type, but he does his homework, and he has a whole video on why it's okay that Anza Knives, you know, exist and are made this way. And I do agree with him on those points. Uh, Anzas are solid. 
And the visuals on this knife are very good. I mean, look at that blade shape. You can tell just by looking at it, you know, with that slightly trailing tip, trailing on of the center line, that it could slice very well. And it's just a, it's a very pleasing looking knife. A form usually follows function. So uh, the first step, if it looks like it works, it probably works. Then you try it in action, which I have. And this is the fifth Anza knife I've gotten. They perform very well, as I said. This will probably be the most popular of all the Anza knives I've shown because of the price as well. It's a small knife, so it's not as expensive as the other Anzas. I do encourage you to shop around. I will include Amazon links, but that's just a, meant as a starting point because there's a lot of small stores uh, on the internet here and there that might have one or two models for a lesser price. So please do shop around and you know the Amazon links can be a last uh, resort because those prices are a little bit high, I think. And you know, it is funny, the prices of neck knives have actually gone up and up and up. You can easily find neck knives that are over $100 now. So even though Anza's are not necessarily budget friendly, their neck knife relatively is, right? So 1095, my Micarta, what's not to like? Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives.